What's up, YouTube? Capital G here. Uh, I don't know if you guys have heard or not, which you probably have, because um, a lot of videos on YouTube have been popping up. Or if you've checked out, you know, forums like Dual Scrounge or Pojo, or just happen to be looking at YouTube news. Um, you know that Pod Duality has been confirmed to be reprinted in the uh, 2011 set of tens coming out. Um, I think that this is excellent for the game. Um, from a budget standpoint, it opens up a vast variety of decks. Uh, there are so many decks right now. Um, I can think of two really good ones, actually three really good ones that just flat out aren't really good with uh, without Duality. I mean, I'm sure that you could run Upstar Goblin or try and substitute, but it doesn't equal the same effect. Um, I think that you're going to see a lot more decks open up. I can think of a lot of anti-meta decks that don't see a lot of play because, uh, you know, just because of the dualities, you know, it makes it kind of expensive. And if you don't have those cards, chances are you're not going to go, you know, out, out of your way to, you know, maybe invest in $300 cards just to play a deck that, you know, might succeed or might not succeed. One deck I can think of easily would be Tech Genus. It's an anti-meta type build, but you need three dualities. Um, I think that uh, the effect is just going to be positive, in my opinion. You know, obviously, I have two. So, you know, we, we all take the hit when cards get uh, reprinted, but that's the risk you take when you have them. And they're on eBay. Please buy them if you want. <laughs> Hopefully, they sell. Anyways, um, you know, you have the deck that, like, I'm playing right now. Well, Tribute, or excuse me, Gravekeepers. Um, that's the deck that I've been playing. If you see me on Dueling Network, uh, my name is Capital G on there. That's the deck that I'll almost certainly be using. And uh, it's a deck where you pretty much have to have Pot of Duality or you really just can't function. You know, the deck doesn't really work. Um, another deck that hasn't really seen competitive play in the last couple of years would be Stun. And uh, due to the recent reprints, the deck has actually become a lot less expensive um, because of, you know, the reprint of Doom Caliber Knight in Gold Series 4 and the reprint of Pot of Duality. I mean, that knocks off, you know, maybe about $400 right off the top of the price tag of the deck. And because of Duality and Warning, you know, being that kind of staple-ish, um, those being the staple-ish cards and, you know, them both being right around a hundred bucks each, you know, it just, it, it inflates the price of any competitive deck. I mean, we're at the point where Gravekeepers is a deck where, I mean, you can see every single thing is common in the entire deck, but between the dualities and the solemn warnings, you're like $460 on five cards. And it, it's just kind of ridiculous in my opinion. Um, you look at a deck like uh, X Sabers, which is a deck that I've never even ran, but I've wanted to just because one soul card, uh, Emmer's Blade, has always been about eighty dollars to you know one twenty. And I mean, thank God for the reprint. And I gotta thank you, Konami, because I think you've been knocking it out the park lately. People have been giving you hate for Gold Series Four, but I think you've been doing an excellent job, much better than the Upper Deck in my opinion. But um. This is a deck that has always been wildly expensive because of really one card, Emmer's Blade, and a lot of versions have been using Duality on top of that. And again, it, it's like Gravekeepers. It just artificially inflates the price when you're paying so much money for maybe three or four cards, and it's uh, a little ridiculous. Um, and the thing about it is some people say, oh, well, now everybody's going to be using Duality. I don't, I don't understand that mindset. Um, I mean, you'll never go to a regionals or a nationals or a YCS and, you know, be X and O or X and 1 and, you know, round 7 comes along, you're both 6 and 1 and, or, or uh, you're both 6 and 0 and you're like, you know, man, that dude wouldn't have beat me if he didn't have dualities. I mean, at that point, all the good players have dualities. You know, if they're running something that doesn't run duality, it's because they are running something that doesn't have duality and they choose to, not because they don't have them, it's because he wants to run 6 Samurai or he wants to run uh, Water Synchro or something like that, not because that player doesn't have access to them. I mean, you do have some players who, you know, maybe they thought, uh, I'm, I'm running Samurai right now, I don't need dualities, I'm going to run this for the format. I'm not going to invest in getting dualities so that I can expand and play different decks. And I completely understand that because I'm that way with a lot of cards. I won't play Fairies right now because 
our sword Chrysia is just too expensive and it only fits in about two decks and I'm not paying $85 for a card. But with the reprint, it just opens that up. Players can probably get duality. My estimation is it's probably going to be about a $15 card post reprint and it just it opens up more decks for any player and you're going to see more diversity uh, in the upcoming format, which is it's actually nice because it gets reprinted five days before the new format starts or it, August might have 31 days. I think it's 30. Regardless, um, I guess the second part of this video, I just want to talk about uh, Guy and I is also going to be confirmed to be in the 10s. Um, not nearly the effect that duality getting reprinted is, uh, but I mean, it's a nice card. It was, you know, like a $50 card for no reason. It's really not that great or imperative to the decks that people use um, that run it, which is like Miracle Heroes and Hero Beat. But, I mean, it's still nice to have. I honestly wish it would have been Ab-Zero. It's a much better card. And it is kind of uh, inflated. Ab-Zero is like $30. And the main reason that I've never ran Ab-Zero is because the card just costs too much. So, uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, if you like the duality reprint, what's the next big card you want to see reprint, um, reprinted outside of Solid Morning? I mean, because I think that's what everybody would say. If you want to see Christia or Fossil Diner or what have you. And uh, thanks for watching. I know this video was long, but I didn't want to just get on here and say, hey guys, duality's reprinted, blah, 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 and then, you know, cut the video after a minute and a half. Like, that is so fucking asinine. Um, it takes no work at all um, to just take my camera and record uh, my computer screen for 10 seconds and show you what you could have seen on Pojo. So, thanks for watching, guys.